Welcome back to Thoughts of War. This is going to be a video on Tertullian. This is part of my series on early Christianity and nonviolence. If you've not watched my previous videos, again, I, re I recommend that you go back and look at those. But this is going to be a part one. I'm going to go through these next several videos fairly fast. Uh, main reason is it's mostly covering the same thing. A lot of these early church fathers um, still covered Isaiah chapter 2. And those prophecies being currently fulfilled. But a couple things I'm using are the the things that he wrote was an answer to the Jews and against Marcion. So you notice we've already discussed Marcion a little bit. But this would be Tertullian's response. And I know about Tertullian's, I don't know what to say, it's connection to Montanism. Um, which it's kind of like the modern day Pentecostal movement. Uh, but uh, he, he did have a kind of, I guess you can say, a relationship there. Um, but he still used uh, a lot of the Christians after Tertullian, still read his works and still used his works. So I don't think he was deemed as a whole as a heretic because people still uh, referenced him. And some of the things he wrote was later in life um, that might have been towards Montanism or... But uh, still, the things that he says and against an answer to the Jews and against Marcion, um, they will they will uh, match what we've already seen from Justin Martyr and Irenaeus, and so I think it's safe to say it's still accepted by um, Christianity. One thing um, as a whole at that time period. So one thing is he's from Carthage, and so now the things we've looked at before, people kind of uh, north of the Mediterranean Sea with Justin Martyr and Irenaeus. And so now we're looking at someone on the North African coast. So we are actually looking at someone from Carthage. So Tertullian and his answer to the Jews. So this was, uh, there was a, a Christian and a, a dispute arose between a Christian and a Jewish proselyte. And so this is within that particular book. And so uh, in here, this is uh, talking about, uh, we're jumping to chapter three and in this, but uh this is talking again about a, a new law, you know, uh, the, the Old Testament was in a sense the old law, but there's this prophecy that in a sense a new law was going to come. And here, here it says, and so you, you'll recognize this, um, fairly on it says, from Far from Zion shall go out a law and the word of the Lord out of Jerusalem and shall judge among the nations. So again, we're going back to Isaiah chapter 2. He's still going back. Um, a lot of these early Christians, they keep going back to Isaiah showing how it was fulfilled in their lifetime. Not a future time, but in the time of the Christians at that time period. And it says, that is among us who have been called out of the nations. So when you look at um, Christians who are nonviolent, uh, they have a view of being called out of a nation. So they're no longer in a sense that yes, they'll, you'd say they may still be Roman citizens, they may still live in the Roman Empire, but they realize ultimately that they are called out of that culture and that they are now part of the kingdom of God. And then, further on down, uh, Tertullian writes, Who else therefore are understood but we who fully taught by the new law observe these practices? So he goes back and says, you know, who else can say who else? What other teaching has come from Jerusalem where Gentiles, where the nations, have started taking their swords and beating them into plowshares? But here Tertullian is saying is that you can see that we're doing these things. Where else has this been done? Again, referencing back to that Isaiah chapter 2 and being fulfilled right now. And another thing that Tertullian does is he connects um, Isaiah chapter 2, just like Irenaeus, with uh, Matthew chapter 5, verses 38 and 39. So, for example, for one of the old law was to avenge itself by the vengeance of the, the glaive, which is the sword, and to pluck out eye for eye, eye for eye. So, remember, this kind of goes back to what Jesus says. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. But I tell you, on the contrary, whoever slaps you on one cheek, turn to him and let him, um, in a sense, slap you on the other also. So this is, in a sense, kind of pointing back to the Sermon on the Mount. So Tertullian also makes that connection. And so just a quick summary on Tertullian. As I said, these next several videos are going to probably be a little bit shorter, but that Christians are called out of the nations. 
called out of the nation. So one thing when you start looking at um, Christians who believe in nonviolence, they don't see themselves as part of the nations that they're living in. In a sense, they they are in that they pay taxes, they obey the laws of the land, but in a sense, they also see themselves as, in a sense, another nation. And so, again, I mentioned like Arrhenius, he connects Isaiah 2, 3, and 4 with Matthew 5, uh, 38, and 39. So we're going to jump straight into Tertullian Part 2 and come on back and uh, for the next video.